everybody Sean James here welcome back to the cabin I uh, wanted to show you all these snakes that I have on my front porch over the last couple of days a female I'm hoping only one female moved into the porch you know how I always talk about how I like this porch because of the uh, sort of a heat sink it's a little microclimate sun shines in here heats that whole area up and it's much warmer than all of the surrounding forests and every other side of the cabin well that heat at this time of year especially it's uh, September early September the temperature dropped down to nine degrees Celsius last night so it's starting to get cool and the snakes are starting to get ready to hibernate now what they do is the part of it I think it's breeding as well at this time of year they also get together and create big groups a whole bunch of them they'll uh, go into an underground cave or, or crevice or something where their collective body heat keeps them warm keeps them alive in frigid temperatures so I hope that's not what's happening here I hope it's just a female that's uh, breeding and all these little males have been all around her coiled around with her so I saw the behavior on the front porch so I'm pretty sure that's what it is so what I did is I took the female and I relocated her went for a long walk and took her back into another spot where there's some warm rocks where I figured she could still find somewhere to hibernate and uh, but away from the cabin now since I took her away I'm still seeing all the males come out as the Sun gets uh, really warm up against the cabin against where the the uh, porch meets the cabin so I've been relocating those as well I've run off or or carried off what six or seven so far I thought I got them all yesterday and I see two more today that I've had to carry away I'm not killing them I don't um, have a problem with snakes myself and I don't and I think they're beneficial the question actually I'm asking myself right now though is how beneficial are they right here at the cabin uh, they're, not, they're garter snakes I don't know how often they eat mice I'm thinking not very often and especially these little male these little males they're not big enough to even try to uh, to uh, catch a mouse in fact it might be the other way around the mice might be killing and eating them so I don't think there's any benefit to having them around to keep the rodent population down uh, there's all kinds of toads around here tons of toads actually they eat insects and the slugs in the garden and stuff like that in fact that's usually where I see snakes up in the garden otherwise I don't normally see them this is the first time I've had them at the cabin like this second time I've ever had them at the cabin Cali chased one here last year but the first time I've seen a bunch in one spot so yeah I need to make a decision do I keep trying to relocate these things or um, do I let them stick around the problem is it's not just me I'm fine with having them here the uh, I think the biggest issue would be with my my wife stepped out of the cabin or went to the cabin there was a snake at the door she wouldn't be too happy but worse than that I like to leave the door open especially at this time of year when there's no bugs and uh, as I'm you know when I'm going in and out and so Callie can go in and out if a snake goes in there and gets in behind something and then doesn't emerge until the cabin's heated up and or that they're able to find some kind of hole in the cabin somewhere to get in when the heat of the wood stove attracts them could be uh, could be a bit alarming so I probably will continue to relocate them I'm just wondering if I'm overlooking anything if there's any reason I should be keeping them here or if there's any particularly strong particularly strong reason I should be getting rid of them uh, like I said they're only garter snakes they're harmless I used to keep them as pets in my parents house when I was a kid and they used to escape occasionally of course that freaked my mother out completely but uh, they didn't do any harm so just let me know what you think in the comments below and uh, what your experiences are with uh, with snakes and whether you uh, what you think I should do